Hey there, this is Molly from Clean Food Dirty Girl, and today I'm going to be talking to you about big ass salads. Okay, so if you are in our private Facebook group at all, or you know, have been reading our blog for a while, you would have heard the term big ass salad. So what we mean by this is literally just a big salad. Now, hold on a minute. Don't start to hate. I know that most people's perceptions of salad are really boring, right? So like some iceberg lettuce, some carrot, some sad tomato, maybe some celery. But I'm not talking about like that kind of salad. Um, I'm talking about like a meal that you're actually satisfied with, that fills you up, that feels so good. And when you're done eating it, you're going to be energized and feel amazing. So there's a way to do this that's actually like your salad can be like your entire lunch and you won't feel deprived or like you're missing out or like you're still kind of hungry. So I'm going to show you how to do that and how I personally do it. So there's a recipe underneath this video for a big ass salad and it links to a salad dressing that's really yummy. So feel free to follow that. I'm going to be doing a slightly different version of that. But the like the most important thing to keep in mind is like there's no like wrong way to do this. Like you can use whatever you have in your fridge. There's no like secret combination of things that are going to make a more delicious salad. You might find combinations that you really like and uh, then stick to that. I recommend like switching them up, putting in different ingredients, different veggies, different um, fruit. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, but switching it up so that you get good nutrient diversity. So every single plant food is comprised of a different structure, right? And they have different vitamins and phytochemicals and antioxidants and minerals. And so by by eating a wide range of whole plant foods, that's when you're going to get the best nutrition. That's when your body's going to feel the best. And you are going to just um, continue eating this way because you feel so good and you're so satisfied. So here is what I do. Now, again, this is not a science. This is an art. So feel free to riff on this. Um, the first thing, you're going to want a big ass salad bowl. Now, this is a very big bowl. I make my salad in this bowl, whether I have people over or if I'm eating just for myself. So I fill it up a little bit more if I have people over, but I just like a big bowl. Now I know this is like, you know, for most people, this might be like kind of crazy, but you'll see what I mean. Once you start eating it, um, even though it's a lot of food, it's not a ton of calories because it's going to, we're, you know, putting in ingredients that aren't super calorie dense. They're more nutrient dense. So feel free to eat salad until you feel like full. Like don't, like that's good. That's a good thing. Your body will love that. Okay, so we need a big ass salad bowl. We need your ingredients. So here's what I do. I wash and dry all of my greens when I get home from the farmer's market every weekend. So I have a bowl of washed and dried red leaf lettuce. And sometimes I get green leaf lettuce. Sometimes I get, you know, romaine lettuce. Just depends on what they have. I also have my delicious huge bowl of green leafy veggies. So I have in here a mix of Oh, let's see, uh, chard, rainbow chard and curly kale. And there is some collard greens in here. And I think that there's some beet greens in here. Um, I think there's some dino kale. So this is a big mix of greens, washed and dried, ready to go. I do this when I get home from the market. And I have videos on how to do that on my blog, if you are interested. Okay, so I have my two types of greens. That's going to be my base. Then I have my bowl of veggies. So before I make my salad, what I'll do is wash my veggies before I start and put them all in one bowl. So I have some celery. I have an apple, a green apple. I have a little bit of cabbage that was left in my fridge. I have a carrot, cucumber. I have some fennel and I have a beet. Now I won't use like all of these veggies, but I'll use some of all of these veggies. And then I have some green onions here chopped up. I like to chop up my onions. Also, when I get home from the farmer's market, I wash them. I, 
pat them dry with a clean kitchen cloth, and then I just chop them up and put them in a container so I just can use them throughout the week really easy. And then I also have a little um, thing of fresh herbs. So I have some dill, I have some parsley, and I have some fresh mint. And this is all washed as well. So I like to do this so that when I'm in my salad making groove, I don't have to stop and wash veggies and come back and stop and wash veggies and come back. Like it's all washed, ready to go. I also have my cutting board and my knife here ready to go. And I have the toppings for my salad, which is a very important piece. Here I have some tamari roasted uh, pumpkin seeds. And I also have some chickpeas. These are just from a can. I washed and rinsed and drained them, put them in a colander, and then put them over a bowl to drain. So if I had fresh beans, I would use those. This is just what I had in a can. I like kidney beans are really good on salads. Lima beans are really good. Pinto beans are good. Like any kind of bean you have will work. All right, and then I have my dressing in my fridge. So the first thing to do is layer the greens. So I like to start with the most sturdy greens. So I'm just gonna go in this big bowl of greens and I'm just gonna pick out like a handful of, I don't know, kale. Okay, got that. And you can like, so the first couple times you do this, you might make, like your salads might be a lot bigger than you intended because when you start adding ingredients, you, I always tend to like go a little overboard with it, but that's okay. You can save it and eat it later and I'll show you the trick to doing that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this down here so that you can see what's going on. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and with my knife, just chop it into, you know, whatever size you would want to eat. So you don't want super, super big pieces because you want a nice forkful, right? So I'd chop it like this and then I would go this way a couple times and give it a couple chops. Okay, so this now will go into my salad bowl. And then I'm going to take my red leaf lettuce, take a handful of this. Woo. Okay, that's probably gonna be good. Now I'm gonna chop this up, and you can tear it, you know, but I like using a knife because it's quick, and it gets it into little pieces that I like to eat. So if I tear it, sometimes it comes out a little bit too big, but this is just a fast way to do it. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna add this in. Okay, then at this point, I just mix my greens together. Okay, we have, so this is kind of the base. So you can do like any combination of greens. You could stick to just lettuce. You could stick to just leafy greens if you wanted. You could throw in some spinach. Again, whatever you have will work. Okay, so the next thing are the veggies. So here we go, back down you go. I'm going to start with the carrot. I'm just going to do like half of this. And again, the pieces that you cut just kind of depend on how you like them. Some people like bigger chunks of veggies or pieces of veggies. Some people like littler pieces of veggies. I like my carrots kind of small because they're hard. So um, that's good. So I'm just going to toss these in here. And then I will take my cucumber. Now one thing I do is I set a, another little bowl by my veggies for a little scrap bowl. And I put in the ends and the scraps of my veggies so that I can then just toss the whole thing in the compost. So I don't have to walk back and forth to my compost bin. Okay, chop some cucumbers here. These are delicious cucumbers from the farmer's market. Um, Kind of bigger chunks of those is nice. That's just me. Again, chop them however, however the hell you want. This is your salad. You do it your way. Okay, so this is some red cabbage. I like to do this kind of fine, as fine as I can anyway. I'll just probably use this whole thing. Then put the end in my little compost bowl. And then just chop it up this way so that it's a little bit smaller. 
Red cabbage is packed with antioxidants. It's super good for the skin. It's really, really affordable. I always buy organic red cabbage. My, the, I can get it at the farmer's market here, but if you don't have a farmer's market near you, you can get all the stuff at the grocery store too. It's just really basic ingredients that any grocery store would have. Uh, okay, so fennel. If you've never used fennel before, this adds this delicious, delicious um, little flavor to salads. I love fennel in salads, and it goes really good with green apple. Okay, so I'm not going to put too much. Fennel, it's, it's kind of um, tastes a little bit like black licorice. It has that anise flavor to it, and it really freshens up the salad, and I like to make this in smaller pieces too. Okay, so uh, fennel, the older the, the fennel bulb is, the it'll, if it's really old, it'll get a little bit of a bitter taste. So taste it first. Um, this is a little bit old, but I love, I love fennel and all of it, whether it's old or new. Okay, now some celery. And with celery, like I always leave the top on and just chop that up as well. Okay, and add that. So the idea with adding so many things is it's just basically so you have a lot of good texture going on because foods with like one texture tends to be pretty boring, right? Texture is an important thing when you're eating and the overall satisfaction of a dish actually has a lot to do with texture. And sometimes you don't even realize that's why you like something so much, but it's that it's the texture. Okay, so this is a beet. Um, now, I really love doing cooked beets for salads. Like simmered beets are really, really yummy in salads. But I didn't simmer my beets or cook them, so I am just going to put them in raw. <clears throat> because they're pretty hard, I'm just going to dice them up quite small. <clears throat> Let's see. And if I were going to cook these, I would just literally pop a couple of beets cut them in half, put them in some water, simmer them for like 15 minutes and take them out and slice them and they'd be soft. Okay, so now we have some apple. Now I love adding fruit to my salad. <coughs> um, and green apple is my probably my favorite fruit to add to salad because it's not super sweet. It's just really, really fresh. It's a little bit tart. It adds kind of an unexpected little zing and crunch, and it goes really well with fennel. So if I put fennel in the salad, I usually try to find a green apple to put in there too. And you see like, my apple has a little beet stain. Who cares, whatever. All right, and now we're gonna go for the um, herbs. So here we have some really nice fresh dill, some mint, and some parsley. I'm just gonna take all of this together and just chop it really fine. So even the stems of the dill, I'm putting that in there. The stems of the parsley, putting that in there. And I'm just gonna chop it up really fine so that you don't get like one huge piece of something. You just get, it's really evenly distributed and it's, uh, you get a little bit of herbs in every bite. Okay. <clears throat> so this is going to go on top, sprinkle that around, and then the last thing here, move this cutting board out of the way. Make sure you can see this. I'm going to rinse my hands. I'll be right back. Okay. So we're almost done here, and you can see... We have this big, beautiful bowl of veggies. And what I'm gonna do now is add some green onions. And I'm just gonna be generous with them. I love green onions on a salad. Okay, so I'm not going to toss this yet. I tossed the base, the greens and the lettuce. I layered the veggies on top, put the herbs on top of the veggies. And now I'm gonna put the beans. So literally, I'm just going to Shake some beans on, not the whole can, just like half, half of the can. And then I have my salad. 
So I could also put like some avocado on here if I wanted to. I don't have any in my fridge right now or I don't um, <laughs> have any in my kitchen right now, I mean. But avocado would be good. Like literally there's so many other ways that you could make this, but this is just, just happens to be what I have in my fridge. I didn't buy ingredients specifically to make this salad. I just use what I have, the leftover stuff from batching, um, whatever I need to use up. So if, you know, if green smoothies are like drinking a salad, then salad is like eating your green smoothies. So you're going to get a shot full of nutrients, tons of fiber, protein galore, uh, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, phytochemicals. It's packed to the gill. Your skin will love it. Your body will love it. Do this. We're not done yet. Okay, so I'm going to grab the dressing. And then we're going to put it all together here. Now, this dressing is linked on the blog. I have lots of other no oil dressings on the blog. If you just go to the recipe section and we have a little search bar and you just put in the salad dressing, then a bunch will pop up. This is a miso tahini dressing that I put on the blog a few weeks ago. One of my favorites. All right, so here's the deal. If I know, like I'm going to gauge how hungry I am. Am I hungry enough to eat this whole thing? No, I am not. I didn't have, like, I had a big smoothie this morning, and it's about, it's almost one now. So I have that smoothie lasted me a long time. Wow. Um, so this is, like, kind of my first meal of the day, actually. And it's too big. I know I'm not going to finish this. So I don't want to put dressing, and I don't want to put my seeds on top if I know I'm not going to finish. Because if I slather this with dressing and I don't finish it, I want and I like go to put it in the fridge and eat it for later, it's gonna get wilty and soggy from the dressing. However, if I take a bunch of this, put it in another bowl, and then add the dressing and the seeds, then I can take this, put it in a Tupperware container, put it in the fridge, and then I'll have a big, beautiful salad for dinner or the next time I get hungry. So sometimes making a, a, you know, a really big salad and then just having that for a couple of days, totally fine if that makes it easier for you to eat it. Um, go for it. So if I knew I was going to eat this whole thing, I would just put the seeds and the dressing directly on here and just eat it all. But I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do, okay, come with me. Here we go. Is at this point, I would just take a couple of spoons and just like lift it in almost like it's a lasagna because I want to get all the layers. I could also um, toss it, toss everything together. That works too. But I just want to make sure with each scoop, like I'm getting a bunch of stuff. Okay. So there's that and a little bit more stuff on top there. Great. Now I'm going to <clears throat> put on my dressing. And however, you know, whatever, you know how much dressing you like. It's, it's totally individual. Some people like a ton of dressing. Some people just like a little bit of dressing. Uh, I like to drizzle on enough so that each bite gets a little bit of dressing because I don't like dry salad. I'm not one of those people who can do like a squeeze of lemon on their salad and call it good. No, no, no. I need dressing. I need delicious, delicious dressing. Okay. Now I'm going to put these seeds these are just toasted pumpkin seeds with some soy sauce on them, just a little bit. This adds a beautiful crunch. Voila. Dun, da, da, da. All right. And now it would be time to eat and to dig in. And um, really, if you are like sort of stuck in your plant eating ways or you're just not feeling like you've been eating the greatest, like if you make this, you will feel like you're kind of like adjusted. Like it'll do something for you. You'll feel really good, not only like physically, but you'll feel good about getting your shit together enough to make a beautiful salad and it'll motivate you to keep going. So sometimes like if you're eating a lot of vegan junk food or regular junk food and you just feel like, ah, I need to like stop it and like get my shit together. Sometimes like, cause I've certainly been there as well. I will do like, I will eat a bunch of, a bowl of fruit for breakfast, a green smoothie, and then for lunch, just have this. Or the next time I eat, have this. And I swear it'll put you right back on track. It'll just like shift your, your whole energy and your cells will be dancing and it'll be amazing. So this is what I mean when I mean big ass salad. I don't mean like a boring salad with just three ingredients. I mean lots of ingredients, lots of different 
textures, lots of different flavors, and uh, that's and just you know really whole plant foods. And uh, so I hope that you find this helpful. And when you make this, again, you can follow the recipe below this video in the blog post. You can follow along with what I did. You can riff on it, make your own creation. Just do it. And when you do it, leave a comment um, in the comments of this blog post and let me know what you made and how it was. Okay? All right. Have a good one. Mwah. I am off to eat this delicious salad now. Bye.